When I first heard the name Baby Driver, I immediately groaned, thinking this was going to be some horrendous kid-pandering family film like Baby's Day Out or Boss Baby. Then when I heard that Wright was directing, I knew it would be nothing of the sort. I first discovered Edgar Wright in the early 2000s because of a TV series called Spaced. There was an episode about Resident Evil that eventually inspired this zombie comedy Shaun of the Dead. After that, I was consistently impressed by his works, Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and The World's End. All great films in different and very unique ways. I'm really sad we didn't get his version of Ant-Man, but that's a whole other story. I looked into it, and Baby Driver is the name of a Simon and Garfunkel song. I should have known it was something like that, with Wright's penchant for infusing his work with tons of music. Baby Driver, the movie, is about a young kid named Baby who's forced to work for a crime boss played by Kevin Spacey. He's a brilliant getaway driver who wants out of this line of work once his debt is paid off, but Spacey won't let him go. The movie is outstanding. The acting, the directing, the music, the action, the cast, everything was firing on all cylinders. It's funny, the film opens as sort of a silly version of the transporter, and it keeps the lighthearted tone for a while, but when it gets dark, it gets really dark. It's got Wright's trademark humor in the beginning, so when things take a turn for the serious, it makes those moments stand out more. The last half hour or so was incredibly intense. The cast was great. Kevin Spacey, John Barenthal, Lily James, and John Hamm were all great. Jamie Foxx playing the character Bats did such a good job of playing someone so hateable. Ansel Elgort was a terrific lead as well. Quite the departure from his role in those Divergent movies. Oh, and Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers was in there. The story of this was, once again, great writing on the part of Edgar Wright. There was plenty of humor and clever moments, as well as a few things I did not expect. There were parts where I genuinely had no idea what was going to happen next. The action scenes were excellent, and after suffering through Collide earlier this year, it was a joy to see a movie with car chases that were the exact opposite of that mess. Wright's one of the few newer directors out there that has a very noticeable style. His tracking shots, as well as his proper use of quick cuts, make his films stand out. While so many newer directors have nothing of style that stands out, that makes Wright's work shine that much brighter. Baby Driver is another brilliant Edgar Wright film. Definitely go see this one.